In this video I'm going to show you how much a data science graduate actually earns in Germany and after that I'm going to give you a few tips and strategies on how to choose the right company or the right job for you. If you're new here, my name is Andreas Kretz. I'm a data engineer and data science platform architect. My passion is to give you the best tips and tools for building your career and your reputation by becoming a awesome data engineer. On this channel, I do a lot of um, tutorials and Q&A sessions, as well as strategy videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So when you search over the internet, and you look at what a data scientist or data engineer actually makes, you end up with a lot of information and very high numbers, like um, something like this here, data scientist salary, um, entry level data scientist salary, about $95,000, or mid level data scientist, 128 till uh, $185,000 or something like um, like data engineer salary uh, 110,000, data engineer 95,000, 100,000. Or here, um, there are many, many jobs. Data scientist $115,000, data engineer $100,000, data analyst less. 65. But let's focus on data scientists and data engineer. So the main uh, jobs regarding data science. And actually, those are, <laughs> I always have to laugh when I see these numbers, those are very high numbers and for especially for beginners, quite unrealistic. And so I, I think it's time to make a, a honest video about how this is going to happen. So in Germany, um, depending on where you are um, and the company you are joining, it's if it's a, a, a larger corporation, it's very likely that you um, are going to be under a contract with a union or the company has a union contract. And one of the biggest, um, I'm in Bavaria, and one of the biggest uh, unions here is the IG Metall Bayern Bavaria so this is uh, where where I fall under and so the idea here is that you that the job you are going to do like the data engineer job or the data scientist job is going to um, fall into one of uh, those categories 1 to 12 and re depending on the the target, um, let's say your your data scientist target is is uh, the the number the the level twelve. You will not start with this. You will start actually below that. So you're going to start, um, let's say two below that. So you're you're starting te with ten, and most of 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 uh, graduates are going to start with ten. Ten A. This is the this is one of the the things that is going to happen if you're a a very good graduate and you may get into uh, into b but usually people are going to start with 10a that's in bavaria and so if you if you um, calculate this let's take 10 10 it's 4604 euros um, the this is on a this is calculated on a 35 hour work week so a basically a nine to five job um, so 4604 euros uh, one euro is I'm going to calculate this in into dollars because it's it's more convenient for you so um, right now the dollar one euro is 1.14 one um, dollars so this is $5,248. Uh, $5, um, this is a, for, for the calculation, um, you're getting 13 uh, months payment. 
it's um uh, it's holiday payment and it's um for christmas and so on so let's calculate with 13. so you end up with sixty-eight thousand two hundred and thirty-one dollars this is usually where you start now you uh, what what happens here is what you can have is that um, on average uh, companies are giving 14% extra. You're not going to start with 14, but let's say seven. Let's say this is this is more of a, a um, yeah, this depends on the contract and, and what you what you can uh, get. So let's say one point oh seven so then you end up with uh, seventy three thousand uh, dollars it's it's a lot lower than the uh, 95 um, it's a lot lo it's even a lot more uh, lower than uh, 120 and 180 so let's say 73 this is this is about where you can start this is this sounds also very good but then um effectively what you earn what you what you can uh, what you can spend in your real life this is not the actual number then comes um the government then comes the uh, the other stuff and what happens is that um you have to you, you have to pay income tax for that you have to pay um social security for that unemployment security you have to pay the mandatory um health care and if you're catholic you have to pay church tax and so on and so on so what you end up a rule of of thumb is that you're going to end up with about 60 percent of your actual salary so times oh six. So you're going to end up with about forty three thousand eight hundred euros. This is a rough rough estimate for a beginner that uh, comes from a university of applied sciences. That's about it. This is this is about what uh, what I have experienced when when i went uh, out of university when i graduated and a lot of of guys that graduated with me and so it, it's possible uh, at some point or, or sometimes it's possible to get uh, to a higher to to the b as i said um, but uh, usually 11 this is is, is not good that's not going to happen and from the the switch from a to b to the b stage um, this is more or less automatic so this happens after 18 months and then um, usually you have to wait another 18 months or depending on if you need to yeah, uh, if you need to get in touch with HR once again but usually then this is this is going to take some time so even if you have a a a uh, position that is that where the target is 12 you start with 10 and then over the years you you will end up with 12 but this is is not um this is is, is nowhere a, a a salary for a beginner so if you're in for just for the money and for the high numbers like a hundred thousand dollars and and 120 180 um that's that's not not going to happen this is is totally unrealistic um it depends th this depends a, a, a bit on um on the actual this depends on the actual region you are sometimes you get a bit more if you're in a if you're in a region that has high um costs of living like something like munich or or, or stuttgart or berlin then this might be a bit higher but for uh, or like if you're joining bmw in, in munich they they are paying uh high very high bonuses and but you're going to need this because living there is, is super expensive okay so yeah this is this is about what you're going to end up with 
43, 45 that you can actually spend. Um, question of the day, is that surprising for you? Have you thought this would be so low that there would be such a difference uh, between this number, uh, between this number and the actual uh, the actual numbers you're getting on the internet? Um, let me know in the comment section. That would be would be very very interesting. And would you would you do the job if you know that you're getting this? So. Um, Let's uh, not focus on that number. The The actual thing you have to keep in mind is um, where, what kind of company you're going to look for, for in a job. You have two options. One is the corporate route, big companies, big tech, and then you have the small companies like startups or smaller companies with 50 or 100 people, so, or even smaller. And one thing that uh, you you don't have to be very very careful about is the small companies may offer you a higher salary for instance and the bigger companies offer you a smaller salary but uh, what you have to keep in mind with a smaller company is that sometimes um they pay higher but you you are going to top out very early or, or a lot faster so the the options to get to do different roles in a smaller company is is a lot a lot smaller. Um, in a bigger company, you start smaller, but it's very easy to get another job if you're in a company with a hundred thousand people. Um, it's relatively easy to find a different job than the one you are currently having, and it's it's better to develop, uh, yeah, your your um, your career. Um, one thing is that that speaks for small companies is that the family feeling it's it's a lot more um, we are a family and we are in this all together and this is with a with a big company this is not as 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 in in the DNA than with with small companies but the upside of, of bigger companies is you have a lot of developers and so you have a, a huge developer community within the company and uh, there are many people who are doing the same that you are doing or are in the same region like in data science or UI design or whatever and so you you have a, a lot of uh, discourse what is that called discourse you yeah you have a, you have a lot of people that were you can you can talk to within your region um what comes with big companies is that you have a lot of bureaucracy this is something that small companies usually lack and so um it's it feels more like you can make a difference in a smaller company. It's it's easy. It's, it feels like it's it's easier to achieve something in a smaller company because with a big company, uh, there are a lot of rules, there are a lot of regulations, and yeah. So this is this is something um, you have to keep in mind. Another thing is that uh, is training. Training. Uh, bigger companies usually have. have huge budgets and if for for employee training they have uh, they have higher budget budgets and so you can uh, easier get employee trainings even in-house trainings where just um, from the developer community people are going to teach other people uh, about stuff and lastly one thing you have to consider with big companies is security if you're into that so um, with smaller companies it's it's the 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 danger of such a company is uh, are going to go bankrupt or bust um, is higher than with a huge corporation. So you have usually have a a good security within huge corporations, and you have to keep this in mind and and weigh this these these um, these points, and not only think about the 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 initial salary but think about the bigger picture what what do you want if you're if you're saying i'm going to switch jobs um 10 times in the next uh, 5 years because i'm going to travel here and there and there and there um my maybe 
take it with a smaller company and and get a higher pay and bah, 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 bah. but if you're going to need safety stay at one place and uh, develop your develop over time and have yeah have the security and the 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 this big community then maybe the um maybe a big company is is actually what you want and what you're looking for yeah okay so that's it for today um i hope that helps let me know in the comments uh, below and hit this hit the like button if you like this one and if you're not subscribed subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with my new videos i'm right now i'm trying to push out videos my agenda for 2019 is every day a video and um right now uh, if you want to know more about data engineering i'm uh, working on a data engineering cookbook for beginners and intermediates to um, get into data engineering and find out what what you what you need to learn and what you might uh, need to look into to advance in your career and this is available on patreon patreon.com slash plumbers of ds um yeah a free a free version is available uh, with with the introduction and the full table of content uh, this is a working document so it's it's not completely finished right now or, or it's, it's in the early stage but uh, yeah, this is going to e uh, grow bigger and bigger with with every every uh, video i'm going to make okay so then see you tomorrow and bye bye